Hello, welcome to Yale Sites Tutorials. My name is Josue Rodriguez. Today we'll be discussing Collapse Blocks module. This is a module that makes blocks collapsible so they can show or hide content by clicking on the title of the block. This is a great way to incorporate according style effect to a full node page or a sidebar region of your site. Simply create individual blocks for each section you want to expand and or collapse and assign them to a specific region and page. One important note is that these instructions are specific to the Yale Sites instance of Drupal using the Yale Sites templates with Omega as their base theme. In other words, if you have a custom theme, this is not the right tutorial for you. Now let's get started. To activate the module, we're going to select Modules. We scroll down until we, until we find Collapse Block. We're going to go ahead and select it. Then we scroll all the way to the down to the bottom and select Save Configuration. When we have activated the module, we need to override the CSS selectors that come with Collapse Blocks. To do so, we select Appearance and Settings. Once on Settings, we need to make sure that we're on the Global Settings tab. Here you will find the location that you need to change. Instead of in the section that says block, instead of div dot block, we're going to change it to section dot block. The title will stay the same, header first. The block content will stay the same, div content. Now these are just the global settings. You will also need to make the changes to the theme you're using. In my case, I'm using the Yale wide theme. So we're going to get select Yale wide. But before we do so, let's not forget to save configuration. Then we go back and select Yale wide. And in here, first you click on debug and make sure that enable the grid overlay for the selected roles is selected and administrator is also selected. Now we find the collapsible selectors in block, see how it says div, we're going to change that like the other one to section dot block. The other two remain the same. Scroll all the way down, save configuration. Now that these changes have been made, collapse block is almost activated on your system. There's one more key feature that you need to remember is that by default you can set all your blocks to be collapsible blocks, or you can only set some blocks to be collapsible. To make sure that you don't have all your blocks selected to be collapsible, you would have to go into configuration, user interface, and then we're going to go ahead and select collapse block. In this section, you will notice that you have the default block collapse behavior, and it's set to none. This is the best way to guarantee that not all your blocks have been set to be collapsible. The animation type is slide, which is the default. And the animation speed is also um, set to the default, which is 200. You can click Save Configuration if you made any changes here. But since I have not made any changes, I will go ahead and hit Cancel. You could also set each individual block to be collapsible. But one key important detail here is that each block needs to be created prior to making it collapsible. So we're going to first go into structure, block, to create the new block. And then we're going to go ahead and hit add a block. Once we get the block page, we're going to go ahead and give it a title. Do I make. So basically, you have issued a title, a brief description, and here, this is the body, which will be the collapsible area that shows in the page. In this case, for the body, I will use the instructions from the how-to guide on how to make a collapsible block. 
remove the extra line there. And now, here's the important part of the block. Now we need to make sure that we send, assign it a class of collapsible. Set it to the content area of the page. And we only want this to show in the page that I created called change it. I mean save it. I'm sorry. And then we have to still go back and make sure that we set it to be uh, collapsible because I'll just go ahead and show you what it looks like. The whole content is being displayed as such and is expanded. So we're going to go ahead and configure the block. And you have to remember to select at the current time is set to none so it's not collapsible so you're gonna go ahead and collapse by default you have it expandable expanded I'm sorry by default or um collapse all the time so you just do uh, collapsible by default we have everything else in place once all the changes have been made we save the block and we'll get the example of the collapsing blocks these are the first ones that were here when I first started the tutorial and these are the ones we just made how do I make a collapsing block and so once you click on it you'll see the instructions for creating a collapsing block a more common use for these feature is in the frequently asked questions of a page um, and it's a very useful tool uh, to use to save space and um, to give it a, a different look so that concludes the tutorial of collapsing blocks and if you want more information regarding this module uh, or how to install it, you can go to the instructions can be located at yalesites.yale.edu forward slash module dash tutorials forward slash collapsy block. Or if you have any further questions on, on this particular module or any other modules or need assistance in any other way from Yale Sites, you just go to yalesites.yale.edu forward slash forum to ask any questions. Again, I'm Josue Rodriguez. 